Hi dears, how are you all? Doing good, doing great. Nice to hear that. Uh, now today we are going to start a new chapter. Chapter number 13, A Reverse Tale. I know that you people love to hear stories. So I thought of uh, taking this chapter. Okay. Now, uh, have a look at this picture. Observe it carefully. Yeah. What a beautiful picture, isn't it? By this only you came to know that I am talking about the tale of a river, isn't it? In the beginning also I told you the story's name is the river's tale. Actually, the place where a river begins is called its source. Okay, and uh, river source can be also called as headwaters. Now, uh, uh, by in this picture, you can see that uh, the icy mountains are there and the river is rushing towards down, isn't it? At that time, at that point of time, the river is in very joyful mood as the poets describe the rivers. Okay, and uh, you can look at the surroundings, you can see lush green uh, uh, forests some of the forest animals also you can see it's it's a beautiful environment over there isn't it now the river can be divided into three stages like the young stage middle aged and the old aged okay now uh, when you look at the younger uh, age of the river you can see that uh, lots of fishes are there the color of the water is clear isn't it you can see uh, when, when uh, it comes down a little more uh, you can see that the banks of the river uh, are having some uh, villages some houses are there and people are using water for different purposes you can see some animals also can't you? Yeah. So, the, they are using the water in many ways. Yeah, even we use the water in many ways. You can't even think of a day without water, isn't it? Water is precious. Now, where, when you see the middle-aged river, where is it? On the right side, you can see some tall buildings. So, it has reached a, a to city or a town, we can say. Now it is facing lots and lots of problems. What are the problems you might be thinking? Can you see that some pipes are flowing uh, to the uh, river? The sewage pipes, the pipes uh, from the factories which is uh, giving the um, waste or dumping the waste over there. Look at the pathetic situation of the river, my God. Did you notice that? Yes. So here the, the, the humans are actually polluting it, making the water dirty, making the water which cannot be used. Okay, now if you go back the starting age of the river, you can use that water as it is. Can you think yeah, you can even uh, take a dip in this water at the old age river. No, because you can see lots and lots of pollutants are there. The river is polluted. And look at the surroundings, my dears. Can you see the trees? Can you see the uh, flora and fauna over there? No. Actually, the condition is very miserable. So, we, that is the end, that is the end of that river, that it cannot live further. So, it is uh, everyone's duty to preserve their natural resources. Yes, uh, I think I can share a few experience with me. Actually, I was uh, traveling uh, to Alapura. Okay, so on the way, there are many backwaters. You know that Alapura is famous for backwaters. So, what I saw there was uh, a lot of 
polluted water okay and uh, uh, people dumping the wastes in the rivers or, or or in the backwaters which made me really sad actually it is a tourist site okay alapura is a tourist site and many foreigners uh, come and visit our place uh, so i i felt it very bad and the the one of the drawbacks of the pollution uh, pollution was uh, uh, the area was very uh, having a very foul smell okay and the scenery over there it was horrible lots of plastic bottles plastic bags and uh, even bumpers all those things i could see over there so which makes the environment polluted the water polluted the beauty is destroyed actually god has created it very beautifully the natural resources are there but we human beings are making it polluted we are dumping the wastes in the rivers we are not disposing the waste properly even the the waste from the uh, chemical factories and all it is dumped directly into the river you can see it there in the picture how they are polluting it it's our duty to save the envir- environment for our future the water is polluted and now the the organisms which are living in the water that is the aquatic animals they are also getting affected they die now even if you go to the beaches to uh, you can find lots of kachra waste over there the plastic waste over there actually we must put uh, it in uh, in a proper dustbin so that the area is good it's it's neat because we are not disposing the waste properly these animals the animals the aquatic animals are also infected they are also getting affected by it actually uh, can you see this picture in which an a tortoise is having an uh, polythene in its mouth can you see that what a pathetic condition it has reached to the oceans now a recent survey says that uh, the the polythenes or the plastics you can find at the bed of the sea can you think of that situation where we have reached now uh, there was a positive sign when there was covid now i tell you this covid era or this covid period what happened is all all there was a total uh, lockdown not even a factory was open for a long period of time so now the rivers are getting their uh, getting to their own nature that is purity now the wastes are become di- uh, dumped less that is the positive t- sign which we got from the covid the nature came back to us so that's it it's we the humans are uh, making the environment polluted so it's on our hands we must uh, try to keep it safe and polluted free now not only the aquatic animals but we we are also uh, infected how we are infected we may get many water borne diseases some of which are diarrhea vomiting typhoid diphtheria hepatitis then skin lesions skin diseases all these are the outcome of the water pollutions so if if we take care of the environment we can have a healthy safe life now there are some thing uh, like we 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 always must drink the pure water can you drink the water uh, which uh, changed uh, its color or it's if it is having a foul smell will you drink it no we won't now uh, you came to know that how a river stale has changed 
how the young age how was the middle age and the last age or the old age so it constantly changed its appearance and actually you can say the property of water is totally changed now what was at the beginning and when it came to last okay now my question is where do you get your drinking water yeah you get you you may be getting it from wells or lakes as well or ponds as well but the thing is this may happen to your lake your pond or even to your uh, well also now i would like to show you an experiment so please observe the experiment okay now first i am you you might be knowing it that this is a beaker i'm and i'm having water in it what i'm i'm going to do i'm pouring the water now i'm going to put some ingredients in it like i'm putting can you identify this tea powder tea dust then i'm putting stones then i'm putting can you identify this turmeric next i'm putting sugar you might be thinking that i am doing some cooking activity over here no my dears have patience this polythene okay now i am going to mix tea yes i mixed the tea and water now look at the change in color can you see the change in color now i am stirring with in stirring it with a glass rod okay what happened now you observed it first one this is tea now the second thing which i have taken is stone i'm stirring it again this one is turmeric look at the nice yellow color now next one i'm taking this stirring it again stirring the sugar nice sound isn't it i know all of you make uh, lemon juice and all that time you do such activity isn't it oh my god now plastic now if i ask you to observe these things can you find any change yes when i mixed tea with water what happened the color changed can you separate the tea and water from it no this means that it is completely dissolved dissolved means mix properly okay now this can you see the stones inside it will it dissolve even if i keep it for a longer period of time will it dissolve no it won't mix up with the water so this means that it does not mix up with the water now what's the condition of this turmeric can you see the two layers actually can you see the color is changed okay we will wait for some time and then i will show you what happens even if i try to mix it it won't mix properly 
Okay. So, this uh, even though its color has changed, but it has not dissolved completely. We will see to it later on. Fine. Now, can you see the plastic inside it? Yes, it is still there without any change. So, this does not dissolve. And regarding this sugar, I am going to stir it again. Now, look, now the sugar is completely dissolved. Fine. Now, look at this. This is the tea dust and I have mixed it. You can still find some of the particles settle down at the bottom. Okay. Now, suppose if something is uh, there in water, drinking water, like something which dissolves completely in water, you won't be able to uh, recognize whether this drinking water is uh, good or not isn't it maybe few few quantity or few amount of mixing is there in the water when you taste it you won't identify it so that is the reason why your elders at home or uh, the doctor says that it is always good or it is always best to drink the boiled and cooled water. Okay, my dears. And nowadays, uh, instead of boiling the water, we are using filters to get the safe drinking water. So, what is used in your homes uh, to purify the water? Either you can uh, boil the water, that is a good procedure, or else you can use filters to make the water purify so that you do not get affected by the waterborne diseases. Okay, dears. So, my dear students, it is always good to drink the boiled water. Okay, something if it dissolves and you might be not knowing. Okay, some of the particles if it dissolves you can see the change in the color. But some uh, particles or some ingredients if it is dissolved, if you are not able to know and if you want to drink the water, make sure you boil the water and drink. That is safe for your health. And uh, you being the next generation, it is in our hands to save the world, to save the water resources and take it as a pledge that you will uh, conserve the water for the future. With that pledge, we came to the end of this session. Thank you. Stay safe and sound.